Okay, I'm going to show you how to import Charf accounts with data import export framework in AX 2012. So the first thing we need to do is go into our data import export framework. You can see it here, data import export framework. Uh, if you haven't used it before, just set up uh, one parameter and just sh sh set up a uh, shared uh, working directory, uh, browse, set it, validate it, okay. Um, the second thing we need to do uh, to import Excel sheets, uh, we need to fix one thing in the config file uh, for data import export framework. I will post a link in the description on how to or what to replace and how to do it, but in general it's just go into a file explorer, go to local disk, uh, program files, not 86 but program files, Microsoft Dynamic AX 60, and data import export framework. Here you see a DMF config file. Just create a new, uh, create a backup of it, and uh, right click it and edit. And you have to like exchange uh, some of these brackets, like you exchange these bracket with something else, and do that three times. Uh, it's uh, good explained in a link I will provide. So when you've done it, you're ready to uh, start uh, importing with the data import export framework, and I will show you how to do that. So uh, we have gotten uh, gotten a standard Swedish uh, chart of account from just uh, official stately uh, web pages. You can download them in uh, every country. So uh, get that information first, and then we will create a um, uh, Excel sheet in data e export import framework to uh, just paste that like the account number, the name, uh, what type of account it is, and uh, a category. So uh, we will create uh, in common. You go to processing groups, and let's just create a new five um, import job account Sweden. Okay, when this is created, you should pop up with the entities, uh, entities and, and this is where you uh, set your model for um, uh, for your file and how to map fields uh, that you're gonna use to import the sheet into a staging table, then import it, the staging table into AX. So we need to go into entities. We want to import a chart of accounts, and that's part of the main account table. So just start writing main and it will pop up, just choose that. The source data format, uh, you know, I got something to choose from here, but uh, if you haven't used it before, just set up a new one. Right click and view details. And here you can just very easily create a new one that uh, I'll just call this test, but you can call it Excel. Test Excel. And in the file format, just choose Excel, and you don't need to do anything else. Uh, so just just don't care about that. Okay, close the window and choose what you just created. I'll just choose test Excel sequence. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, uh, then we need to generate the source file. This is where we say what fields to import. Um, we need. We want to set. Uh, we want to set in chart accounts. You can go to the chart accounts and let's see. Um, we want to set the main account ID with the name. Uh, we want to set the, the type of account. I can show you. Go to general ledger, mm, chart accounts, and you go to standard. Uh, if I just edit this, so we want we need a chart of account that we need. We also want the account number, we want the name, uh, we want the account type, and we want the category. So let's choose those fields. Uh, wizard, we need chart of accounts, uh, and we need.
posting type and we need account category. Yeah, and just main account and name should be uh, mandatory. Okay, finish. Jump back to my generate source file. Um, then we can, yeah, sorry, uh, go back into this. Just click yes. Uh, generate sample file. This will uh, pop up up with an Excel uh, sheet that you can use to like uh, just copy in your account IDs, names, um, and so on. So uh, just re just save this to uh, place you will know it. I already have mine, so I'll just uh, reference that one and finish. Also, send then you reference the the sheet you just created. You reference it in here. So I have mine on desktop. I main account. And you see now we got lots of more uh, available fields. Uh, you should generate the source mapping. Uh, this will um, this will just uh, populate uh, the, the mapping between the sheet and the staging table, and we need to modify one piece here. Uh, as you see, account carrier goes to account carrier, chart of account goes to chart of account, and posting and posting type goes to posting type but that's not the right one we need to go uh, we need to set it to type so we're going to mapping details and you change the posting source field in, uh, to the staging field we change this to type okay then go back and we will see that it has changed yeah it now goes to type save okay um we can validate it we can review target mapping oh, and to preview so yeah, now we will see this there. Yeah. So just uh, if, for you guys, uh, when you save the Excel sheet, just populate it with uh, the account numbers and account names and everything. Just like this, very easy. Um, so now we have set the uh, no, I can't read the target mapping now because we changed the modified source mapping. But we now we set the model for uh, our import. So just close this. Back to my processing groups. We see that the new one we created, we have set it to the entities. We have referenced uh, our Excel sheet and we have changed the mapping. So uh, let's, let's stage the data. And stage the data, that means uh, importing the data from the Excel sheet into a staging table in AX. So let's just job ID 5.1, uh, staging Excel to stage table. Okay, and just click run. Okay. We have 458 main account record inserted in staging. Uh, one thing you need to do is, uh, you see, in my, you need to, you need to, in your Excel sheet, you need to reference a uh, chart of account to put all your accounts into. Uh, you can see that I have done this here. And you see that I want to put all these accounts into Sweden. Uh, this is this chart of account uh, doesn't exist in AX, so I just have to create it in advance. So uh, let me just go into chart of account field and let's create.
create a new chart for count and we have to call it the exact same uh, for sweet standard okay and that's it it's the same Sweden yes so now that exists now we have like now we have the chart account to put all these accounts into and uh, then we can go into uh, copy data to target that means taking the staging table into AX so we will reference here uh, the uh, the job uh, or the staging table that we just created so 5.1 staging Excel to stage table and we'll just okay and up in the left corner you see a small button that's called run and just click that and now it's uh, importing all the accounts from the staging table into the final AX table I will also uh, I will also put out the Excel sheets uh, that I use, so you can uh, just copy that and um, and use it. So you don't need to actually generate the sample file, but you need to uh, have the same mappings as I do. So now we should get an information. You see that data written to target. 458 records created. So I should now in my chart of accounts, I should now see, should now see a new, you see the Sweden chart of account and we see that all uh, the accounts are here and the account type is correct and the category is correct. Perfect. So if you get any errors, uh, you can always go into the execution history and here you see that yeah we had this uh, staging status ended and target status ended. So the staging, the getting the data from Excel to a staging table in X ended, okay, and getting that di data in the staging table to the final AX table uh, is ended. If you want to, if you have an error, you can always go into uh, the error log, and here you can see like um, the info log that popped up. So uh, if you get an error, you can see what uh, what uh, what is wrong here. So uh, for example, if I hadn't created my chart of account at once, it would give me an error saying that uh, Sweden chart of account doesn't exist for this account. So that's why I had to uh, create it in advance. So that's pretty much how to create a new chart for our account uh, with the most basic uh, data and how to uh, how the data import export framework works. If you have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments. I will uh, happily answer it. So okay, bye bye.